Hey everybody, this is Tristan from Learn3GS.com and today I'll be showing you how to drag and drop any object into a scene. This is a very useful tool, especially while creating games, and it's fairly easy to accomplish. If you've never followed along with one of my examples and would like to, then I highly recommend cloning down the repository and checking out the starter branch. Once you've got that cloned down, install any dependencies and start the server. If everything went well, then you'll be able to open this link in your browser. This scene is going to have a lot of colors in it, so go ahead and change the entire scene's background color to a light gray. Next, let's create an empty array called objects to store the items that we want to be draggable. In this example, I'll be loading 100 spheres in somewhat random locations, so let's move the camera back a bit so we can see everything. Now it's time to add the draggable objects to our scene. Declare the sphere geometry first, and then write a for loop that runs 100 times. Within the loop, we're going to start by defining our mesh that will use the geometry that we created above, and we'll use a mesh Lambert material with a randomized color. This is a cool little trick that you can use if you'd like a randomized color. Each of these objects will have a random position within a certain range. I've worked these numbers out before recording this, so they will of course vary when you apply this to your own scene. Since we have a lot of objects in the scene, it would be nice to have some added depth. Tell each object to cast and receive shadows, and that's it. Add the objects to our scene, followed by the objects array, and we can exit the loop. The very last step to see this working is to create the drag controls object. This class will accept our array of objects, the camera, and renderer DOM element. Now that we have this in place, let's head on over to our browser and check this out. At this point, we have a working example of drag and drop functionality. I'm going to take this one step further and dive deeper by using the events provided by the drag controls class. I want the current object that I'm dragging to change color and return to its original state when I let it go. Watch how easy this is. Above the init function, we need a variable to store the original color in. Let's call it start color. Next, we will need to create two event listeners on the controls object, one on drag start and one on drag end. In our drag start callback, we first need to store the original color. Locate the material on the events object and call get hex on its color object. On that same color object, use the set hex method to change the color on the fly. Let's use black for simplicity. Lastly, create our drag end callback and set the color to the one we stored in the drag start callback. I've pushed the completed example to the finished branch on GitHub and also have a written tutorial on learn3gs.com if you prefer to learn that way. Thanks for watching. Please like or subscribe if you enjoyed this video and feel free to ask questions in the comments.